What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Trevi Trev, and I'm back with another video. I wanted to make this quick kind of video just as a follow-up to my last video about people in high school because I kind of wanted to talk about the Mad Max movie that I just saw. And honestly, I'm gonna keep it real with y'all, that movie did not hit for me. It did not hit for me, not because it was like a, a bad movie or anything. In fact, I thought it was okay, but it didn't hit for me because everything that comes out today is either a remake, a reboot, a rehash or reiteration like there's no new ips and it's like hard to watch movies nowadays because you kind of know what's going to happen already because all these ideas are rehashed and redone and if you saw the original mad max fury road or any of the old mad maxes you kind of saw where this movie was going especially if you saw fury road which is one of my favorite movies one of my favorite movies of 2015 i remember seeing that movie when it first came out and i think 2015 almost 10 years ago bro that's crazy i was in high school when that movie came out me and my homie saw it but i saw that movie and then i saw this movie which is a prequel to that movie and it was kind of disappointing because this movie if you watch fury road you already know what's going to happen at the end of this movie because this movie it has a lot of tension and a lot of crazy moments but you know at the end of the day not going to go into spoilers certain things are going to happen that leads to fury road and it's just not as tense filled if you saw the other movie but i wanted to make that point to say movies nowadays they need to start having some original ideas and stop like milking the proverbial cash cow over and over again and doing things we've already seen because i'm going to use star wars as an example the original star wars that george lucas made that movie was unheard of for its time like that movie was so innovative and different and tried so many new things that the industry just copied it and that created the blockbuster formula we know today but that movie would never be made nowadays in today's society because it would bomb because a lot of people like to stick what they know despite wanting new ideas and new things and it makes things hard to be created nowadays because when's the last time you watched a movie like that wasn't like a major ip that was just new and created out of the blue that everybody loved it's been a minute because a lot of these studios are afraid to take risk and when they do take risk it's poorly made risk and the movies bomb and you know they don't want to do that idea again but you know i kind of understand it from a business point but as a consumer it's disappointing to see the same old things happen again and then the movie bombs regardless and it's just boring to watch because if you're a creative person like me you always want to see new ideas even if they don't work because me one thing i wanted to do i actually did this and i talked about it in one of my previous videos i wrote like an animation for nickelodeon because i wanted to make a new cartoon series similar to hey arnold and things like that and my hero and all these superhero shows that i liked but they rejected the idea because you know that's just what they weren't looking for and you know that's fair play to them but you know when i saw the ips that they put out in that um sort of writing class that i submitted my um animation to i was thinking to myself no no ego involved mine was better than this because they had some basic ideas and i knew these shows weren't going to last one season but you know that's besides the point the point is i tried something new and a lot of these studios weren't necessarily feeling that and you know that's fair play to them but you know you can't be mad when your movie like this bombs even though people like me like it because it's like you're not trying anything new you're just making a reboot a remake and you're hoping people just shell out money to it and that's the problem i have mostly with hollywood and a lot of these studios and streaming services they don't try anything new they don't try anything new they just stick to what they know and then they milk it and then it's just rehash and, and they play it way too safe like a lot of these shows they're afraid to touch on real life issues they're afraid to be violent they're afraid to offend people and sometimes i feel like that's the making of a great show if you offend people if you make them think and if you make them feel something because nobody likes the same rehash garbage over and over and over again and it's like when i see them announce new ips of previous things that i've watched in the past and it's not as good you know it just sucks it just sucks and this movie was an example of that because before the movie even ended I knew it was going to happen. I knew it was going to happen because I saw the previous Fury Road. And it's disappointing because the movie was well put out. It was action filled and it was fun to watch. But it's like you already knew it was going to happen. And people need to make new things nowadays because it's tiresome to watch the same old crap over and over again. And this movie did not hit as, the same as the first one. But I wanted to make this video kind of giving my thoughts on it. You know, I didn't want to go into spoiler territory because if you watch the movies, you know what's going to happen. And, you know, if I had to recommend this movie, I would probably say just wait until it's on sale or movie sale or Tuesday night movie with your girl or whatever. Just something like that because, you know, paying full price for a movie where you already know what's going to happen is kind of madness. 
But anyway, I wanted to make this video. Hopefully this video inspires people to make new ideas and new IPs and just kind of be creative because it's tiresome to go through the same old crap over and over again. Even with video games, it's tired to see the same old crap over and over again. Like how many times are we gonna see Madden 2K and Call of Duty? There's nothing truly out there that's innovating and reinventing the wheel. But I just wanted to make this video, give my thoughts, and hopefully you guys, you know, like, comment, subscribe, and you'll get more topics like this from me. But anyway, I'm out.